Hey, everybody that's coming on live. Hi, guys. Hey, we're going to be doing a past life regression today. So go ahead and get yourselves comfy. We're going to wait a few minutes so that everybody can get on here and get ready for our past life regression. I want to know in the comments if you guys have ever done a past life regression before, or if this is your first time ever trying something like this. And as we wait for everybody to come on for this past life regression, get yourself cozy. Make sure that you go ahead and get yourself anything that you need to drop into your past lives. So blankets, pillows, awesome. Somebody's doing this for a first time. I love first times. Okay. So blankets, pillows, candles, anything to help you drop in for this past life regression. You're definitely going to want to get some water. Past life regressions are thirsty work. So get some water. So you have that going. I like to make myself a cup of tea. I'm definitely like a warm drink kind of gal. So, you know, go ahead and grab that. If you need to, we're going to wait like five minutes so that we can make sure everybody who wants to be on here for this past life regression is here. So you have time to do anything that you need to, to get yourself into the mode. Other things you can do if you're into it are get some candles going. Ambiance is huge when you're trying to drop into a past life. Um, things like essential oils, whatever it is that you need. And everybody who's coming on right now, hey guys, we're going to be dropping in for a past life regression today. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever done a past life regression before. I want to feel into you guys and see how many people are doing this for the first time, how many people have done past life work before, so I can get a feel for where we can take this today. And also in that comment section, let me know where you're joining in from, where in the world you are, and anything about you. If you're like totally into this stuff, if you've never done anything like this before, I want to hear it all. Um, hey to a thousand clever lines. Hi. Well, Kira is here. Yep. Everybody who's coming on, just let me know in that comments below. I was just told by another, I have negative energy. Well, let's work on that today. We are going to be doing a full past life regression session. So we can use this to see anything that you want to. I like to set an intention before a past life regression of something that I want to see. So you could set an intention to figure out something specific about your life. Like if you feel like you have negative energy, where does that energy originate from? Uh, somebody said this is their first time from Kentucky. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Somebody's joining in from Alaska. That's awesome. I have a couple of clients over the years who've been in Alaska, uh, travel nurses actually, who've been working there and doing shadow work with me. Everybody joining on, let me know if you've ever done a past life regression before. First, first time joining from Mississippi. We've got Illinois. Um, that's the first ever that I've been told. I'm always positive. That's so rare. Listen, take everything that somebody says with a grain of salt. They might be projecting their stuff onto you. So, you know, it is what it is. People are weird sometimes. Uh, winged energy. I've done one before saying hi from Connecticut. Hey, and just on here. Hello. Never done one. Awesome. Uh, past life regressions vary in terms of time. Somebody just asked how long it takes. We're going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to drop in and fully see everything. So it's not super long to get in there. It's actually easier than you think. Uh, and says, I've done shadow work and seen past lives, but not a full past life regression. That's awesome. I'm excited that this is going to be your first full past life regression. Uh, let's see, Washington State. That's what I figured live on TikTok. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, TikTok is it's a great place. I love being your creator on this platform, but you also have to take everything with a grain of salt and trust yourself at the end of the day. We've got Philly in the house. Hey, Christy. Christy's one of my shadow seekers, which is what I call all the women who've gone through my Create Your Light Academy program. Everybody joining us, we're going to be going in for a past life regression in just a couple minutes. So let me know in the comments where you're joining in from and if you've ever done a past life regression before. This is really exciting to be able to do this with all of you. We've got Taisha from Philly, another shadow seeker. Hey, I'm everybody coming on. A slew of people are coming on now. So everybody who's joining to do a past life regression with us, make sure you just take a minute to get nice and cozy. It's a lot easier to see your past lives when you are really relaxed. So let's all take our phones, let's silence them. Let's like turn off those ringers. So it's not a thing. I'm going to make sure I'm doing that to mine too. Uh, California's here. Hey, California. 
Uh, we want to make sure that you have your doors locked so nobody walks in and interrupts you because if you're in the middle of seeing like a really cool past life, the last thing you want is someone to walk in and be like, hey, what do you want for lunch? Not great timing. Make yourself uninterruptible. Candles going for the ambiance, anything else you need to get cozy. When I first started doing this work for myself, I really, really liked to do this while I was lying down and to have a blanket to make sure that I felt really, really relaxed as I dropped in for past life regressions. Because in the beginning, when you first start doing this work, it's going to be a little bit harder than it is when you get into it and you start doing it often. So this is your first time. I'm going to be recording this and putting it up either on my website or on my YouTube page so that you can do this over and over and over again and practice. But I'm sure that we're going to be getting a lot out of this today. Um, California, I've tried to do a past life regression before. That's awesome. I'm super excited to do your second one with you. Something I've heard from other people with past life regressions is that they feel like they are not going to be able to get anything out of it. And I'm sure at least a couple of you guys feel that way today, that you're afraid that you're not going to see anything in your past life or like it's going to be just black and you're not really going to get anything out of it. We're going to take some time as we drop into that past life situation to really make sure that you acclimate. But here's a couple of really helpful tips as you guys get ready to do a past life regression. So the first one is that as you do past life work or shadow work or anything that's kind of psychic in nature, you're going to use all your senses and everybody's senses are a little bit different. Some of us can see things really clearly. Some can hear things really easily. Other people just know it's like in your gut, you already know the answer, right? Whatever your senses are telling you, that's what you're going to follow. But here's a simple little exercise I want you guys to try before we begin this past life session today. So what I want you all to do right now is to just, with your eyes open, just imagine what an apple looks like. I want you to just picture it in your head. And as you picture what an apple looks like, see all the details. Notice the color of it, if it's really solid, if it's cartoon looking, if it's very realistic. Notice if it has a stem or a leaf, is it cut or is it whole? The point is that if you can see it, it's almost like you're seeing it behind your eyes, right? Your eyes are open. You're looking at me on the screen right now, but in your head, you can picture this apple. That's how past lives will come through most often. That is still considered a type of clairvoyance. You'll still be able to see it. So as we dive into your past life today in just a couple minutes, I want you to know that as you start to see it, it might be like that, where it's like your eyes are seeing black, but behind your eyes, you're seeing like a whole crowd of people in togas staring at you. So just take that with a grain of salt. Okay. Somebody says, Hey, how are you doing today? Hi. It's so nice to see you. Okay. Anybody who has never done a past life regression before drop that below in the comments. I want to know if this is your first time or if it's something that you have done before. I love doing past life regression work with people, especially people who have never done anything like this before. It's so fun. First time. Yay. So exciting. Okay. We have a couple first timers there who just commented that below. Super exciting. Okay. So, um, it's time never before. So scared. Do not be scared. I promise it's not scary. You know, the first time I ever did past life work, I was pretty terrified too, because I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I was going to go see like my head chopped off on a guillotine. Your soul knows what you need to see. And your soul also knows what you don't need to see. And so if there's something that you need to see today, that's what's going to come through. So set the intention right now with me to see something that is for your highest and your greatest good. And let that be the thing that powers us through. What I want you all to do now is to get ready because we're going to dive into a past life. So take a moment, get nice and cozy in that space. Last chance to turn off your cell phone's ringer, to lock the doors, to tell other people to just fuck off because it's time to do a past life regression. <laughs> and then let your eyes start to close. You can be seated or you can be lying down, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And just start to breathe. 
breathing in deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Don't worry about the thoughts that pop into your head. Let them come. Don't fight them. Just focus on the breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Getting yourself ready to see a past life today as you breathe in deeper in through that nose and out through your mouth. As you breathe, just focusing on how the breath feels and it enters in through your nose, feeling it make its way up and over your palate, down your throat, down towards your lungs. And on your exhale, letting it all go through the mouth, <sighs> feeling that air as it makes its way out, up out of your chest, out of your mouth, breathing in through the nose again and out through the mouth, letting your breath regulate as you prepare for this past life session. And as you breathe, Trusting that everything that you see today is for your highest and greatest good. That whatever past life it is that you're going to drop into is something that your soul has been ready for you to see for a very long time. As you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, I want you to focus in on the very top of your head. Bring your attention to the crown. And as you focus on the crown of your head, at the very tippy top, just feel into that space. Notice how the top of your head feels. Notice if it feels cloudy, if you can feel pressure there. And then begin to visualize in your mind's eye a wheel at that location at the very top of your head. And as you see that wheel at the very top of your head, Notice that it begins to spin very slowly. As you see the wheel at the very top of your head beginning to spin very slowly, it's going to push everything out of this energy center that doesn't need to be there. Any heaviness or tension that you might be feeling in the crown of your head, feel that wheel spinning a little bit faster as it works to push it all out to release every bit of the heaviness that exists within your crown, spinning faster and faster. As it spins, feeling an energetic shift there, as your crown chakra opens up and you feel it expand, releasing anything that's blocking your ability to receive divine downloads today and to see everything that you need to when we drop into your past life. When that wheel is spinning really fast and it's cleared everything that's stuck within that energy center, I want you to bring your attention down to your third eye, just between your eyebrows. Focus your attention in on that space, just between your brow bones. And as you're focused in there on that space, I want you to notice how it feels. Can you feel any pressure there? any tension. As you focus in on that third eye, visualize another wheel, just like the one before it, and see it beginning to spin very slowly at first, allowing that wheel to spin as it clears anything that's blocking your third eye, any heaviness, anything that has made you doubt your own abilities. Feeling it all get pushed away as the wheel spins faster and faster. The moments from your childhood that made you doubt what you knew was true. That made you second guess yourself and your own spiritual abilities. Feel them getting pushed away as that wheel makes its way around and around. Getting faster and faster. Until there is nothing left that is blocking your third eye any longer. And your third eye is wide open. Once your third eye is open, I want you to take your attention down to your throat chakra. And as you focus in on that throat chakra, eyes closed and breathing in, I want you to feel the air as it passes down towards your throat. And as you notice that, what does it feel like? 
Does your throat feel open? Does it feel closed? Allow yourself to visualize another wheel of this space. As you see the wheel at your throat chakra, see it beginning to spin very slowly at first. All the moments from your life that you felt like you had no voice or like your voice wasn't heard by the people around you. Feel those moments beginning to melt away as this wheel spins faster. Allow yourself to feel into that throat chakra and clear the blocks here as the wheel continues to spin around and you feel your throat beginning to open up and expand. Feeling more secure in your throat chakra, more confident as that wheel reaches its top speed. And once it's there, taking your attention down to your heart chakra. And as you breathe in this time, I want you to roll your shoulders back, opening up and expanding that chest, allowing that heart chakra to be so open wide as you feel into that heart space. Is there any tightness or tension here? Is there anything heavy that's blocking this heart chakra today? As you focus in on your breath, visualize a fourth wheel at this location at your heart chakra and see it very slowly beginning to spin. And as it spins, begin to recall the moments of heartbreak that you've had in your life. From your early childhood, the moments where you suffered from loss, whether it was the loss of a person, a place, a beloved item. Feel that loss as it's stuck in that heart chakra as the wheel spins faster to move it out. The heartbreaks you've experienced throughout your life all trapped here within your heart chakra. Feel the wheel continuing to turn as it pushes them out. As that wheel spins faster and faster, as you breathe into that space, Breathing in and feeling that heart open as that wheel spins faster and faster until there is nothing that's blocking the space anymore. And then you can take your attention down to your solar plexus, which is just in the center of your abdomen at the point where your ribs meet the rest of your torso. As you breathe in deep, Feel another wheel at that location and feel it beginning to spin slowly, very slowly as it removes any of the heaviness that exists within this solar plexus. The moments where you have doubted your decisions, where you have felt lost, where you felt unimportant or like you couldn't make a decision or like people didn't agree with the decisions that you were making. Feel those moments all getting pushed out of the way as you breathe in through the nose and down into that solar plexus. Breathe that air in. Feel it opening and expanding the solar plexus area as the wheel gets faster and faster. Feel yourself opening up as that wheel reaches its top speed. And once it's there and you're fully ready to move on to the next chakra, bring your awareness down to just behind your navel at the sacral chakra. And as you focus in on the sacral, again, breathe air into that space as if you're letting all the air find its way behind your navel. And as you breathe into that space, feeling the power of your breath, and all the openness of the chakras that came before it. Visualize a wheel here and see that wheel beginning to spin, slowly turning as it clears any heaviness that's stuck within your sacral chakra. Any of the moments that are stuck here, the moments where you felt attacked for your gender or powerless because of it, the moments where you've experienced any kind of trauma related to the body that you're in, whether it's people commenting on it, 
or making you feel less than because of it. Feel that wheel spin faster and faster as it pushes all of that energy that is stuck in the sacral chakra, pushing it out and clearing it for good until that wheel that's spinning at your sacral chakra is spinning so fast because nothing is blocking it anymore. And once that's done, you're going to take your attention down one more time to your root chakra at the base of your spine. Bring your attention down to the base of your spine at the root and breathe down into that space. And as you breathe down, notice how this area feels. Notice if you feel grounded to the earth, wherever it is that you're sitting or lying down. If you feel that connection or if you feel any fear. And as you breathe all the way down into the base of your spine, I want you to visualize one more wheel at this location. See that wheel very slowly beginning to spin. And as that wheel spins, it's going to begin pushing away any stuck or stagnant energy that's here within the root chakra. Any moments where you have felt afraid, moments where you felt disconnected from yourself, from the earth, or from your soul's purpose. Any moments where you've had doubts about your own abilities or when you felt unsafe in your own body. Feel all of that stuff getting pushed out of the way as the wheel spins faster and faster. And as all of that clears and you continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, visualize that wheel spinning so clearly with nothing blocking it anymore that is able to reach its top speed. I want you to imagine now that you can see all of these wheels, all seven, from the crown of your head to your third eye, to your throat, to your heart, down to your solar plexus, your sacral, and your root, spinning together in perfect harmony, completely clear. And as you breathe one more time, a big inhale in through the nose and out through the mouth, notice how peaceful you feel here in your body, how connected in you feel in this moment and how ready you are to see whatever it is that your soul is begging for you to see. As you take one more deep breath in, I want you to notice that the wheels disappear and everything around you does too and that you are surrounded by nothing, floating in space. Maybe the space is all dark or all light, but just notice the nothingness all around you. And as you keep those eyes closed and continue to breathe into the space of nothingness, feel safe here. Let yourself feel grounded and calm as you always remember to keep that breath big and long, breathing in through the nose and then slowly releasing out through the mouth. Your breath is medicine. And as we move through this past life regression, your breath is what I want you to always come back to. I want you to visualize that just in front of you, a bridge appears. The bridge is going to look different to every single one of you. So just notice yours. It might be made out of wood going over a small lake. It might be a rainbow. Maybe it's made of glass or ice. But just begin by noticing, asking yourself the question, what does my bridge look like? Don't feel any judgment for how you receive the answer because the answer will come however it needs to. It might be something you can see behind your eyes in what's called your mind's eye. It might be something that you can feel 
like feeling the slipperiness of the ice on an ice bridge. Or it might be something that you just know in your gut, like the answer just popped in. Whatever it is and however it came to you, notice the details of the bridge. Notice if there's any railing to help you walk over the bridge. If it's really steep or if it's soft, rounded hill. Notice if there's flowers around it or anything else in the vicinity. Or if it's a bridge with nothing, plain and simple. And as you really notice this bridge, I want you to recognize in your body right now that this bridge is going to take you directly into a past life that your soul needs you to see. Allow yourself to walk towards the bridge. See yourself in your mind's eye stepping towards it. One foot in front of the other. Stepping over towards that bridge. And slowly letting one foot go in front of the other as you cross over it. And as you get closer and closer to the other side, you might feel things start to change. Wind picking up around you. The temperature changing in one direction or the other. The clothing on your body beginning to change. Down to the shoes that you're wearing as you cross over this bridge. Everything in this moment is shifting. And as you finally step over, crossing over onto the other side, you're going to be stepping down directly into a past life. I want you to start very slow because this is a huge shift for you to be grounding into a life that your soul has lived before. So just take a moment with no pressure and notice how your feet feel on the ground here. Notice if the ground below your feet feels soft or hard. Again, it might be something that you can see, something that you feel, or something that you just know in your bones to be true. And so I want you to look down at that ground and ask yourself, what is it that I'm standing on? And see what you see, feel, and know. Look at the shoes that you're wearing on your feet. If you have any, you might be barefoot. And do the same thing again, rolling your toes, feeling into whatever it is that's on your feet, if anything. And ask yourself the question, what is on my feet? And see what it is that you either see, feel, or know to be true. If you can only feel or know at this point, challenge yourself to start to see it. Allow the vision to come into your mind's eye. Allow it to come into focus as the details begin to emerge. And now I want you to let your gaze move up just a foot or two. Letting your gaze move out all around you and notice everything that's in your immediate vicinity, just a foot or two above. What is it that's immediately near you in this past life? What can you see? Can you see more of the ground? Or maybe you're standing near water. Can you see shrubbery or a path? Notice these details and ground into them. And whenever you feel unsure, ask yourself the question, either in your head or out loud, what do I see? And let it come through. I want you to let your gaze move up a little bit once more and look out all around you. No limits on where you can look anymore. Just letting yourself take in everything that's here 
noticing what you see. Look up at the sky, or if you're inside, looking at the ceiling of wherever you are. Look for the details. The details are what's so important. It's the piece that lets you know just how real this is. What can you see all around you? What do you hear in the background? Maybe it's the rustling of leaves in a tree wind gently passing through them, or the echo of an empty chamber, the creaking of an old wooden house. Just notice everything here. And as you notice all these details and you let yourself see and feel and hear everything that's here, I want you to ask yourself the question, why am I here? What is it that I need to see? And then let your gaze move to whatever that thing is. Whatever it is that your soul is calling you here to this moment to witness. Let yourself see that. And let your full attention go to whatever that thing, person, or experience is. Remember that while you're here, your breath is your medicine. So breathe, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as you allow yourself to fully experience every aspect of this past life allowing it to be healing for you in whatever way your soul needs it to be. As you continue to breathe, maybe looking down at the clothing that you're wearing and noticing what is it that's on your body? What is it that you're wearing in this past life? Notice how that clothing feels on your body. You may be a different gender in this lifetime, noticing if that's true, or if you're in a similar type of body, or maybe the body of a child. Just noticing, no judging, all of these different aspects of this past life. And as you take in one final breath here, having recognized the place that you are and what it is that you came here to see. Take one big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Thanking your guides for letting you to see as much as you did and knowing that you can keep coming back here to get more and more information from this past life as you allow yourself to move up as if you're moving through a wind tunnel, feeling your soul getting pulled up and out of this lifetime, getting pulled up through space, feeling wind all around you until you land right back in your physical body. And as you connect back in with your body, take another deep breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Letting your awareness come back to your fingers and your toes. Letting yourself ground here in this space as you reconnect by stretching out your limbs, maybe rolling your neck and your head, rolling your shoulders, reaching your arms up, whatever you need to do to just come back slowly. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Now that you're here, take a moment and pull out a journal if you have one. Write down some notes on anything that you saw. And be sure to pop into the comments here and let me know anything that you saw during this past life regression. Remember that there's nothing that's too small. And if it's your first time doing it, getting anything is amazing.
It gets easier and easier every time. Someone had asked for me to record this live and put it on YouTube. That's exactly what I'm doing. So it's being recorded right now so that you guys can go in and do this again and again and again. All you're going to have to do is follow me on YouTube. And the link for that is in my bio. Uh, hippie Chica, Hippie Chick ASMR. I think it's Hippie Chick ASMR. My husband did a past life regression. He said it was an amazing experience. And past life regressions are really cool. The reason why I like them so much, why I've always felt so called to past life work is because there's something that our soul needs to see from past lives that helps us connect in, in this life. And so an example of this is you might have a past life where let's say you felt like you couldn't speak, like you were, um, a prisoner in the 1300s. And every time you tried to speak up for yourself, you would literally just get beaten. And a, a lifetime like that will really get stuck in here. And it'll really get stuck in your throat chakra. It'll make you feel like you can't speak up, like your voice doesn't matter, like you don't have control of your body. So when we can see these past lives and make these connections to how they show up for us in our current lifetimes, that's when we can really do that healing work to let go of them. And that's what I do with shadow work. Shadow work is like an overarching term for different types of healing that have to do with going into the unconscious mind. That includes your past lives, um, womb healing, inner child healing. I've heard a lot of people talking about inner teen healing, but I tend to loop them together because your brain's still undeveloped as a teen and ancestral healing. So breaking those generational curses and all that stuff. Um, let's see. Andrea says, I love seeing past lives and helps so much for deeper understanding in your current life. I could not agree more. There's so much I've learned about myself from witnessing my past lives and seeing how it impacts me here that I would never have had access to if I didn't go back. It's just by and large, my favorite type of healing. And if you think about it, the number of things, you know, currently consciously in your life that you've experienced that are hard is probably a pretty big number. And then if we multiply that out, maybe by five, because there's a lot more stuff that's hidden within your unconscious, that's how much stuff you're really carrying in this life. Now multiply that by 10,000, because all the past lives you've had have as much trauma, if not more sometimes, because times were different and you are carrying that around in your physical body. And if we can go back and heal those moments, or we can take the really amazing pieces of them, like our gifts, we can find our soul's purpose pretty easily too. That's why I love past life work. I just feel like it's so transformative. So yeah, feel free to share about anything you want to say that you saw in your past life regression today in the comments. I'm thinking about making into this uh, like a more of a regular thing. If this is something you're down to do more often with me, probably on Thursdays at this time, because it's just convenient. And it seems like a lot of you guys were able to join today at this time. Let me know if you'd be down to do some more past life work with me. Comment any questions that you guys have too on my videos that I have so that I can make a full video response for you out of them. I love being able to do that so that I can share any information that I have about past lives, inner child healing, inner teen healing, ancestral healing, womb healing, or shadow work as a whole, which again, this is a form of shadow work. Um, absolutely. I just popped in, but I'd be interested. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. This is going to be recorded. It's going to be posted on YouTube. So you can go in and do it again, whenever you'd like, you can use the link in my bio to get over to my website, which has all of my links, including my YouTube. So you'll be able to see it there probably by later tonight. And also if you feel like you didn't get as much out of it today, because maybe it's the middle of your day or timing wasn't right, or someone came and knocked on your door just as you were starting to see your past lives, do this at a time when it's best for you. Get a good pair of headphones, totally make yourself uninterruptible and watch that recording so you can do a full past life regression. And let me know what you see when you do, because I'm always happy to point you in the right direction. There's a reason why you're seeing what you're seeing. And so now it's just up to you to figure out what that is. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming on with me, for doing a past life regression and for trusting me with this process. It's such an honor to be able to do this work with all of you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.